He's the slow Loris of Morning Talk Radio. He's your favorite morning ho host. The one and only Adam Jawash. That's what my mama named me. I think I found a loophole. Copyright free music. I'm listening to copyright free music. That's my uh, YouTube loophole. Good morning, everyone, and welcome, welcome, welcome. My name is Adam Josh, as you may already have figured out, and this is the Morning Banana Show number 51. I've had issue in the past with uh, YouTube. One issue they had, I had with them is they, they just revoked my live streaming privileges. We're upside down right now. Love it. They revoked my live streaming privileges. I'm going to just keep holding this till we reset. Are we right side up yet? There we go. This is how uh, Twitter dicks around with me, is I'm always upside down on their periscope. No matter what I do, back to right side up. So, yeah, one way that YouTube was dicking around with me was uh, they revoked my live streaming privileges overnight. After about 20-something episodes of the Morning Banana Show. A show which I started about five years ago after realizing that uh, I eat a lot of bananas, so... Uh, here we are. The live stream seems to be uh, back the right way. And as far as, yeah, YouTube, I was saying, they revoked my live streaming privileges overnight. And another thing they did to dick with me is I was listening to background music like this. And, uh, and they, uh, somebody filed copyright claims on it, and then they said, oh, in the, in the moment, this is like live, they took my YouTube video offline live uh, all over the world and said that uh, you have a copyright claim on your video, so we're not going to play the audio track, R-E-S-P-E-C-T by Aretha, Aretha Franklin, respect, right? Oh, yes, but yes, I do. Respect. The song Respect. You can't play your video anywhere in the world because you use that song. And that song, you know, you have to get the permission to use it. So, I ain't, I ain't calling Aretha Franklin's estate to use that uh, song. No way. So, they gave me an option. Mute the part of your video that has that song or delete the video. So, I muted the part of the video that had that song. And what you wind up with is a morning banana with like two minutes of silence in the beginning. And this is an example of how YouTube dicks with me. Do they care about anybody else using that type of music? Like, I should show you. I've been on YouTube since it started, right? So I have years and years of this nonsense. Of so they uh, used Kanye West power once in a previous show I did called uh, the, the, what did I call it? Uh, the Brog. The Adam Josh oral brog went to 100 episodes of Lunchtime with Adam. We're at number 51 of this uh, The Morning Banana Show. I think I can I think I can sustain this one though because it doesn't bug me to uh, it doesn't bug me to record it. Other than when YouTube dicks with me like that, revoking my live streaming privileges overnight. I'm just skimming the headlines here. I've been kind of out of it because I had a busy weekend. So uh, May, Theresa May, Theresa May uh, was, she gave her resignation speech, which is a long time coming. Sex robot threat, AI girlfriends indistinguishable from humans after major 5G upgrade. So 5G upgrades have made sex robot girlfriends indistinguishable. I have a whole thread about this under uh, AdamJosh.com AI or AdamJosh.com. They're create. We are creating Satan. But anyway, I mean, 
I've been talking about AI forever. What else? Trump's wall is not built. Selling weapons to Saudi Arabia. Biden's campaign is one of limited explo exposure and he's trying to downplay his age? No. He can't get exposure because he's a perverted old Democrat. That's why he doesn't have exposure. Army Twitter question highlights of troll toll of American wars. Yeah, that was a big mistake. I was on Twitter the other day and the U.S. Army tweeted, how has the U.S. Army affected you? And that was a big mistake on their part because then they opened up the conversation to a bunch of people who have been disaffected by the U.S. Army. Wow, what was that? Navy pilots report unexplained flying objects. Yeah, I got news for you guys. When I started covering uh, technology, where are we really? I was realizing that we're 30 years behind in the public domain of what's commonly uh, available in the UND or R&D departments of, or the Skunk Works departments of companies like Raytheon, Northrop Grumman, etc., uh, etc., et Imagine this. In the 1940s, Nazi Germany had a flying anti-gravity disc called the Hanebu. Look it up. H-A-U-N-E-B-U. The Hanebu. And they even put uh, the blueprints online. And there's, you can find blueprints online for Vimanas. Look up Vimanas. So, John Lear, whose dad, uh, William Lear, invented the Learjet, the son of that guy, John Lear, uh, I've talked to him and interviewed him before on uh, previous, uh, for previous reasons. <laughs> and uh, so John Lear confidently asserts that, you know, propulsion didn't end at the jet turbine. Like, can you imagine? Our advancements for humanity just stops at the jet engine. No, obviously technology kept moving forward. And stop at that or maglev. And like Elon Musk's electric car idea. There's electric cars in the 60s. Like, we're going backwards. But anyway, maglev is nothing new. And in the 1940s, the Nazi German party had these... Maybe it wasn't the Nazi German party. Maybe it was the even more secret Vril Society of the... Nazis, but, but anyway, you know, the, the Hydra of the Nazi party, they had these, uh, Nazi flying bells, they called them, the Hanebu, and, uh, so how did they have this technology to, uh, you know, float around anti-gravity style and, uh, in the 1940s, but we don't have it now. The answer is because the technology was classified. So, when the Nazis uh, built this stuff and flew around, I mean, that wasn't a UFO. People knew what it was. A UFO means unidentified flying object. People knew what it was back then, but if they flew to a country that, you know, they didn't know where, what it was, it would be unidentified. So the Navy is now, you know, first of all, a bunch of things have been de declassified about UFOs. And now the Navy pilots report unexplained flying objects. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, what are these unexplained flying objects, or what all the are the UFOs? They could be advanced Hanaboos. They could be the Americans or other governments or the Russians versions of the Hanabu, which was uh, the designs were taken and brought to America. So, Operation Paperclip, Werner von Braun. It's no coincidence that the rockets that Werner von Braun was working on in Germany look identical to the rockets that were being produced after Operation Paperclip post World War II. It's no coincidence that he uh, partnered up with Walt Disney and started creating this whole space drama of landing on the moon with Walt Disney and Stanley Kubrick. We're living in an artificially created world. One reason is for control. One reason is to siphon off your tax dollars. And if you're an American, $22 million a day goes to NASA. 
and you're not being like did you did you get asked about that no they just take it let's look up the canadian space agency's budget while i finish that banana and put some music on royalty free heavy metal this is where we're at in life space agency budget it's in the millions last i checked wow so our budget 2018 to 2019 for the canadian space agency or the csa is 332 million You know, the population of the um, of America is three around that, 300 million people, right? We have 30 million. So we have a, a million dollars for every American. I, I don't know, guys. I pay taxes. I pay a lot of taxes. And stuff like this just drives me crazy. All right, everybody. That was the morning banana. I ate a banana to show us the length of a banana it should be. Sometimes we have guests on. If you'd like to be a guest for the morning banana show, hit me up on Twitter at adamjosh.com. You can also email me, adam at adamjosh.com. I bought a website a while ago because I was tired of being dicked around with by uh, Hotmail and all those other ones. It was Hotmail. They asked for my ID one time, like my license and credit card. I was like, uh, you know, I do own a website. I don't need to use your email servers. Jeez. They got you by the balls. Get off Facebook. Make your own server. How was supposed to buy a server? That reminds me. I gotta go server shopping. All right, everybody. Talk later. Have a great uh, week. It's Monday, so take care of yourselves, and make sure to follow me on Twitter at adamjosh.com. <laughs>